Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am doing a collaboration with the lovely Polygon from Polygon Illustrations. She is another artist here on YouTube and she also does quite a lot of shows and conventions and she does some really really cool and really adorable animations so do go and check out her channel. She does quite a lot of shows like I said and I met her at Summit in the City uh, where I bought one of her little hedgehog badges and she does some really cool denim jackets and all sorts of things like that and her style is just really really cute and it's really really lovely artwork so do go and check out her youtube channel after you have finished watching this video so you can see what she did in her side of the collab so we decided for this collab that we would do a decade theme collab and we would then choose a decade for each other so the decade that i chose for polygon was the 70s and she chose the 60s for me so that is what i am doing in this video so I thought because of the 60s, when I think of the 60s, I think of big hair, bold patterns, bright colours and pop art, which I really love pop art. I've never really tried to make any before, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to try it. I think it suits my style quite well because you need some bold black outlines and bright colours. And as you know, I like both. So I sketched my design out first on some printer paper like I always do and then inked it up on my light box and then I went in and varied the line weight and added some more lines to the hair. I decided to colour the dress completely black because the black dress was quite a thing in the 60s and then I'm going to go over it and make a pattern later as you will see. I decided to give her sort of blondy yellowy hair because that is quite an iconic thing of pop art especially the Roy Lichtenstein pop art if you go and have a look on Google just Google some Roy Lichtenstein pop art and you'll see what I mean it does give a nice contrast to the black lines in the hair although I did regret you doing the yellow quite quickly because when I went to colour next to the black ink pen lines it did smear what is it about yellow whenever you colour with a yellow marker there is always the risk of it smearing never mind I did manage to cover it up as best I could with a bit of white gel pen and going over the lines again with the black to make it look less obvious and I don't think you can see it so it worked out okay in the end I thought at first that I didn't want to do any blending in the face because not doing because pop art is very much about block shading and block colors rather than shading and blending I tried but I couldn't help myself blending out a little bit but it's not too blended and I think it works quite well to contrast the sort of flatness of this because it's intentionally quite flat but it's also quite bold so I colored this in with markers a mixture of Copic markers and pro marker and I also use white gel pen which I'm trying to shy away from but I think in this instance it worked quite well because I outlined the lady with the white gel pen and I used it in the patterns and to highlight the hair I really like the hairstyle but when I was colouring in it did just kind of look like she's got horns coming out of her head which is quite a cool look I'm not I'm not you know having a go at her hairstyle choices she can have her hair however she wants but to me it just looks like horns and it just looked quite funny but I still really like it overall and for the background I coloured it in in stripy blue kind of exploding stripes from the back of her head because that's quite an iconic background in pop art as well and for the dress I used, um, I'm not really sure what to call it, it's kind of like a foil mesh with lots of holes in a pattern. I did try it and find a circular one because the circle dots in that pattern is another iconic part of pop art. But I only had the hearts which didn't really matter too much. So I taped those down with some washi tape and coloured in all of the hearts over the dress. And I first coloured it in with the white gel pen and then went over with some neon pink just on some of the hearts. And on the collar I turned it perpendicular that's a big word for you I turned it perpendicular to the hearts on the dress and I colored that in with black and I neatened it up with some fine liners and white gel pens as well 
So if you have come here from Polygon's channel, welcome, my name is Katie, I make art videos, I do quite a mixture of stuff, I do challenges, speed paints, I have my own little character called Charlie so I'll let you go and find him, I do have a playlist with Charlie videos, I do some DIY videos, although I am not going to be doing so much of that in January just because I'm a little bit wary of the YouTube changes but once that settles down and we know what that's going to look like I am keen to do some more DIY videos because I really enjoy those. I am wearing one of my DIYs from my latest Frozen video on my wrist so do go and check that out if you haven't seen it and do feel free to subscribe if you are new, take a look around my channel, get a feel for what I do and if you like this video you know emotionally please do leave it a like down below as that really helps me out and also comment down below what your favourite decade is. I think my favourite decade is probably the 90s because I love dungarees, I love cassette tapes, the early 90s a bit more cassette tapes, the CD did kind of take over a little bit in the late 90s, but that doesn't matter, I had cassettes in the 90s so that's fine. I just love the 90s look, but I also love the 80s, the bright colours and again the cassette tape and the leggings and the fun hair and all the accessories. I also love the 70s and the 60s, the 20s. To be honest, I love most decades that aren't this decade because they're just much more fun and it's just so much fun to dress up and make things that are retro looking. So let me know in the comments below what is your favourite decade. So now I am just adding some highlights to the hair to give it a little bit more shape to make it look like it is poofing upwards and around the horns. I just can't unsee them as horns. I know it's meant to be the curl of the hair and the very 60s curly bob style but to me it looks like horns which is fine but anyway now I am colouring in the exploding stripes I don't really know how else to describe them they're kind of exploding from behind her head again I don't explain myself very well when I'm trying to describe things I very much rely on the visual of the video to see if you can try and distinguish what I am saying so for the exploding stripes I used alternate colours of blue so a lighter blue and a darker blue and I did have to go over these several times with the markers because I was silly and used the brush nib because the brush nib I find doesn't always cover such a big area whereas if you use the chisel tip it does cover the, the area much better and you don't get the streaky look that you get with the brush or the bullet nib. So once I had coloured in the exploding stripes, I outlined the lady in white gel pen and this is something I am trying to shy away from but I think it fits really well with this pop art style and it does make her pop out of the page a bit more, especially with the two contrasting colours. It does give that extra little barrier between the yellow and the blue and it just finishes it all off nicely and I also neatened up some of my line work with the fine liner I'm using the unipin liner by the way which is what I always use and I think I'm using a 0.6 here so I'm just finishing off the lines nicely and here I am adding the pattern to the dress and this is the heart hole mesh thing that I was talking about you can get this in quite a lot of craft shops and um, probably the works would probably do it hobbycraft all those kinds of places and it's just a mesh with a repeating pattern so I used it as a stencil and I just coloured in all of the hearts that fell onto the black dress and I used some washi tape just to hold it in place because it wouldn't rip off the colour and and so now I am just adding on some neon hearts just randomly just to match the colour of her lips and to just bring out the pattern a little bit more. And I think this piece works really well and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I do think I'm getting better at drawing faces. The reason that I know this is when I was taking pictures of it, my phone recognised it as a face. So you know that your anatomy is getting better when your phone recognises your face drawing as a real face. So I was really pleased with that. And I do think I'm going to put this on my red bubble because I think it will look really nice as prints or merch. So I will leave a link to that down below. And I will also leave a link to Polygon's channel. Do make sure you go and check her out because she is amazing. And do go and see what she did with her part of the collab. It is really, really cool what she did. And you've got to go and see it now. Otherwise, Charlie will cry. So don't make Charlie cry. And speaking of Charlie, because I'm not going to be using my puppet Charlie so much on YouTube because of the changes, I have made a TikTok account 
where I am posting more videos of Charlie on there. So if you do want to see some more Charlie content, head over to my TikTok. I'm Katie Vaughan Art on there with the same icon. So here is the final result. Like I said, I'm really, really happy with it. I think it does the 60s a little bit of justice and I do love the pop art style. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.